And what we're going to talk about is the rule of seven. It's, it's a topic I've covered before, um, but I, I'm going to cover it again and also include some other examples of using it. Um, or not, yeah. So um, it's a guideline um, of the number of times to duck or to hold up, it's sometimes called, when you are declarer and the opponents lead a suit that you're weakened, but you have a stopper, but you expect to lose the lead um, at some point, or you, you may be in danger of losing the lead. So the guideline says that you look at how many cards you have in that suit between you and dummy, take that away from seven, and that's the number of times to duck if you can. It's really used in no trump, and we'll look at a few simple examples of this and then go on to look at some other situations where you need to think about um, ducking or using the rule of seven. And we also will be talking about the danger hand here. So the danger hand is the one that you don't want to gain the lead um, that is more of a threat to you if they lead than if the other hand leads. So let's have a look at a simple example of this uh, where you open one no trump and your partner raises you to three no trump. For those of you watching my YouTube videos, this is playing a weak no trump, 12 to 14. And the opponents lead the king of hearts. And although we have a stopper in hearts, we're a little bit vulnerable there because we've just got the ace there. But before we go any further, I'm going to launch the first poll of the evening, which is how many definite top tricks does Declara have? So count up how many definite top tricks Declara can make. That's tricks you can make without losing the lead. And I'm going to launch a poll. And the question is, how many definite top tricks does Declara have? Let me share the results with you. And most people have gone for six, 83%, with 17% uh, uh, saying eight. So let's switch back and count the tricks. So we have two spade tricks, one heart trick. We don't have any diamond tricks because those are not top tricks. Um, and we have at least three club tricks. So we start out with six definite top tricks. We might actually make four top club tricks. It depends on how they divide. But we, we definitely have six top tricks. And obviously, we're going to make more by setting up tricks in diamonds. The danger on this hand, of course, is that the opponents will get in with the ace of diamonds. And then we'll probably switch back to hearts and may be able to defeat us if they can take enough hearts. So this is a kind of situation that's good for using the rule of seven. You look at how many hearts you have between you and dummy, which is two in dummy and three in your hand. You deduct five, therefore, from seven. And the guideline says that you should duck twice if you can, which is what we can do here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to let them win the first trick with the king. If they carry on, we'll let them win the second trick. And we've now ducked twice. We have to win the third trick if they play another heart. Let's uh, discard a spade from dummy, I think, and win that trick. And you could at this point cash some clubs if you like, but you are going to have to play the diamonds. And what you're hoping for is that when you play the diamonds, that <coughs> Because you've ducked twice, that the hand that's got the ace of diamonds cannot continue with heart. So if I bring up the four hands, you're hoping for a layout like this, where East has got the ace of diamonds. But because you ducked twice, East now doesn't have any more hearts left. So West is sitting there with the jack six of hearts, but won't be able to get in to cash those two good tricks. So... You, you play the diamond, East gets in and can't really get to his partner. If he leaves a spade, you can win that one in dummy. And now, of course, your diamonds are set up so you can take your diamonds. And you can take your clubs. Uh, and in fact, your club at the end, your nine of clubs is also good. And 
you'll make uh, it, um, 10 tricks on that one. Okay, so I hope you can see that ducking twice here gave you a chance to make your contract because the ace of diamonds was in the east hand, whereas it was west that had the long heart suit. If I change this hand slightly and I put the ace of diamonds in the west hand, now there's actually nothing I can do because if they again lead hearts, I will duck again as before, ducking twice. But now when I play the diamonds, West has got the ace of diamonds, gets in and will be able to defeat the contract by cashing the last two hearts. I'll make the rest of the tricks, but I'll be, I'll be down one. So there was really nothing I could do on this. And in fact, if I click on the GIB button, it will say that as long as West leads a heart, the contract will always be, can always be defeated. So, but you gave yourself a chance by ducking in case the Ace of Diamonds was in the East hand. The other time you will um, make the contract on a layout like this is if the hearts are evenly divided. Here they're divided four, four. So again, if they lead a heart, we'll duck twice. Uh, and then when we play the diamonds, although West has got the ace, they only have one more heart, so they can't actually defeat us. They can just take four tricks there, and whatever comes back now will make the rest, and we, we just make our three no trial. So we can make our contract if we duck twice, if, if either the hand that's got the long trumps doesn't have the ace of diamonds, or if they're, as in this case, divided four, four. Do interrupt me if you've got any questions on that. Um, here's a, another example. Here again, you've opened one no trump and your partner raised you to three no trump. And the opponents again lead the king of hearts. And you should realize that there's a danger here that the west hand is probably the dangerous one because they're more likely, based on their lead, to have a long heart suit. And they presumably got a sequence headed by the king, queen, jack, or something similar. And this is similar to the last one, um, except we're, we're, we're not necessarily going to lose um, a trick in diamonds. We've got, we're missing the queen here. But what we want to do is play the diamonds in such a way that the dangerous opponent cannot get the lead. But first, we have to duck. First, we duck just as we did before. We use the rule of seven to duck twice. So let's do that. Okay, win the third one. And then we need to keep in the back of our mind that West is probably the more dangerous opponent. West is the one that's likely to have a long uh, heart suit. And so we want to play the diamonds in such a way to try, try to prevent West from gaining the lead if they have the queen of diamonds. East is less dangerous because they're less likely to have uh, more diamonds to lead back. So probably the best way to play this particular combination is to start off with a king, and then we're going to finesse against West. So we're going to lead uh, a diamond and not play the ace, but we're going to play low here, and we're, hope we're trying to prevent West from gaining the lead. Now, if we're lucky, the finesse works. And in that case, after you've played two rounds of diamonds, you can see that there's just one diamond still outstanding. And now you can uh, play your ace and it will take the queen of diamonds with it. So now you've got the rest of the diamonds. You've got the uh, spade tricks as before, and you're going to make your club tricks as well. So in that situation, the finesse succeeded and you managed um, 11 tricks. What if the finesse hadn't succeeded? What if, um, I hear I've moved the queen of diamonds over to the east hand. Let's see what happens there. We'll duck as before, we'll duck twice. Okay, we'll play the diamonds as we did before. We're trying to keep west off lead. So we'll lead the king of diamonds and then we'll lead another diamond playing the 10. Now here the finesse doesn't work and East gets in with the Queen of Diamonds. But again, because we ducked two hearts earlier on, 
East now is out of hearts and cannot get to their their partner's good two hearts there. So whatever they play now, we'll get back in. Our diamonds are good now. So we'll take our last two diamonds. We'll take our spade. And again, we'll take our club tricks. And again, we'll make our contract um, making 10 tricks on that one. Do interrupt me if you have any comments or questions on that. Yes, please. Yep. First of all, why did you decide with the finesse to play the king of diamonds first? Right. So why didn't you finesse the jack? Yeah. Well, um, this uh, this layout, if you if you run it through um, a program called Soup Play, it will normally when you're finessing in a situation like this, um, where you've got the ace king. Um, there's a slightly increased chance of success if you uh, start by cashing one honor. Um, and it right. basically gives you, in the unlikely event that the Queen of Diamonds is a singleton, which is something like a 2% chance, uh -huh. yeah. it gives you that extra edge. So if you can do it, um, mm. that's how you should play. There are some layouts, and we're going to look at one later, where you don't really want to do that because you, you have, um, it's a little bit, uh, tricky if if you do that. So um, if if you just um, you know finesse here by leading a diamond towards the uh, the the jack uh, ten and nine, then that's almost as good. But you get a slightly improved odds if you cash the king in this situation first. Okay, and I have one more question. I'm afraid. Yes. Um, on the lead of a previous hand, you said mm. that I think the queen was led or the king. It was a king, yeah. that they probably had king queen yeah. now i sort of never sure should it be one of in, in no trump should it be that or should it be fourth highest right so if you leave, you leave the king you normally leave the king if you have a sequence or near sequence right so the, normally the lead of a king shows king queen jack or king queen 10 um if you had something else like king queen you know six two then you would leave the fourth highest but what if you would have, you do if, if you have the ace king uh how many cards have you got <laughs> um five yeah so normally i mean and this is a subject i've covered in in my other talks against no trump if you've got a five card suit head by the ace king it's normal to lead your fourth highest yeah okay if it's, thank only, you. if it's only a two card sequence but yes thank you very much top of a sequence if it was a three card sequence or near okay. sequence thank you okay let's have a look at this one here and again it's gone one no trump three no trump and this time the uh opponent has led the jack of hearts and we've got a slightly different holding in hearts we've got the king and the queen here um and before i go any further i've got the next poll question for you which is who has the ace of hearts is it west is it east or can't you tell all right west has led the jack of hearts who has the ace of hearts is it west east or can't you tell And 56% went for East, 11% went for West, and 33% said they couldn't tell. And um, the correct answer is actually that you can't tell. Um, West here has led the Jack of Hearts, and they should lead the Jack of Hearts in a couple of situations. One, when they've got a sequence headed by the Jack, something like Jack 10 well, they won't have the nine, but they could have the eight. So something like Jack 10, eight. Or they may have led top of an internal sequence, in which case they might have the ace, Jack 10. And the Jack is the correct lead in both of those situations. So you may think that you know who's got the ace here, but really you don't know at this point. You really don't know for sure who's got the ace. All right. now. Let's see what, what's going on here. We can we can look at our top tricks on this hand and we can see, well, we've got three spades 
And we're going to make at least one heart, although it's not a top trick, but we're going to make a heart here. And we've got one club for sure. The suit we want to go after here is diamonds. And what we want to do is think about um, how we're going to play the diamonds and think about who is the dangerous opponent. So let's suppose we start off by playing low from dummy. East doesn't play the ace, he plays a five. And let's suppose we now win that first trick with the queen of hearts. And what we want to do is play the diamonds in such a way to prevent the dangerous opponent from gaining the lead. So east or west, one of them has got the queen of diamonds and one of them is more dangerous to us. That is to say, we want to make sure that the um, the, the, the definition of the dangerous hand, the danger hand, is the one we don't want to gain the lead because we're quite vulnerable in hearts. So the question is, who is the dangerous opponent here? We're going to play the diamonds in such a way that we want to prevent the dangerous opponent from gaining the lead because we're worried that if they gain the lead with the queen of diamonds, they will switch to a heart. So the question is, who is the dangerous opponent here? It is, is it either west or is it east? And the definition of a dangerous opponent is the one we want to uh, we want to keep off lead. We want the we don't want the danger hand to gain the lead. The danger hand is a hand you do not want to gain the lead which is the danger hand here. Let me uh, share the results with you. And it's almost 50-50, but slightly more than 50% here, 56% have gone for East, whereas 44% went for West. And um, sorry, let's go back to here. And um, it needs a little thought here because um, it, on based on the lead, it looks like West has probably got a long heart suit. But what's different here is that after you've won the queen, you've still got a possible second stopper in hearts, but only if West leads hearts. In other words, you don't even really care who has the ace of hearts here, but if um, if East gains the lead, there's a danger that um, uh, that if they lead a heart, that that could trap your king. If West has the has the ace here, whereas if West gains the lead and they attack hearts, then your king is a a stopper and will protect you protect the hearts from running away. So. Yes, the correct answer here, which slightly over 50% of you went for, is actually East. Slightly more than 50% of you got this one right. And actually, the last time I asked a question like this in a poll, it was almost a dead heat, 50-50. So a few more of you got it right this time. Let's see, we'll look at what happens if, if you play this correctly or incorrectly. But basically, we're going to now play the diamonds in such a way to prevent East from gaining the lead. Okay, we don't want East to gain the lead because they will trap our hearts if they if they play hearts. So what we're going to do is probably a good idea is to go to dummy with a the king of spades, and then we're going to lead a diamond and we're going to finesse um, against East. So we're, we're playing the diamonds in such a way that East, who is a dangerous opponent, cannot gain the lead if they have the queen of diamonds. So we'll play the jack of diamonds. If we're lucky, that finesse succeeds. So we will repeat the diamond uh, finesse, winning with a 10. West discards, which is uh, interesting. So if you're thinking about it, we've now played two rounds of diamonds, but West discarded, so that's seven gone, eight, nine, 10, 11. So East has got the last two diamonds, including the queen. But fortunately, we can uh, stop it making a trick here. 
by taking the king of diamonds and then the ace of diamonds is going to take a um, uh, the ace nine they're going to make the last tricks we need to get to dummy which we'll do with the ace of clubs and now we can cash the ace of diamonds and the nine of diamonds and at this point we're going to uh, we can make our last two spade tricks that makes ten tricks and probably uh, not make much more we'll lose a club there the opponents will get in in clubs and will take the last heart but if we look at the four hands you'll see that even though it's west who's got the long heart suit it's actually east who's more dangerous east is the person we don't want to gain the lead after we've taken the first trick when this hand was um this was a hand that was played online and it was played in in different ways um let's just look at what happens if you play the diamonds a different way so if you win the first trick with the queen and then if you uh, maybe try to finesse against west so it things don't go so well here so you might play a diamond here west happens to discard so the finesse is not going to work here so you may as well play the ace if you play a diamond back now east gets in with the queen of diamonds and can you see that east can now switch back to a heart and that will trap your king. Okay, so now the opponents will be able to take all their heart tricks and they'll uh, defeat you and you, you won't make your, your three no trump. Um, alternatively, if you play that the same way and suppose we go over to uh, dummy like we did before, if we try the diamond finesse as we did the first time, to try to prevent East from gaining the lead. If West actually has the Queen of Diamonds, we can they can take it, but our heart, our King of Hearts is now protected. Um, so in fact, if I bring up the four hands, you can see that West uh, has got in, but if they carry on in hearts, they will give us another, another heart trick and they won't be able to run the hearts. So, if they do cash the ace of hearts, that just sets up a heart trick for us. Okay, and now we can go about our other business, taking our diamonds and taking our uh, spades. And at the end, we'll play a club. We're not going to risk the finesse here. We'll just make our 10 tricks there. So this hand was an example of even though it was West that had the long heart suit, because of our holding in hearts, the king, queen two, it was actually the other hand that was a dangerous opponent, the dangerous opponent being the one that you don't want to gain the lead. And finally, I want to look at one other holding here. And this is a holding where you've got specifically the ace and the jack. So again, you're in three, no trump. This time the opponents lead a heart and uh let's see we'll stop to count our tricks here so we've got what four clubs um one heart and one spade are our top tricks so one two three four uh one heart one spade and we've and one top trick in diamonds but obviously we're going to try and make more tricks in diamonds and when it comes to playing the diamonds we're going to finesse in diamonds and there's really only one way to finesse which is by leading the queen and when we play the queen we're going to uh, hope that the king is on our left um, but if the finesse fails then east will gain the lead so if east has got the king of diamonds they're in danger of getting in and again we're in danger here in the heart suit so what we want to do on this hand is actually go back to the rule of seven and if they play if east plays the queen here we probably will be doing best to to duck to let them win that one holding up twice if they carry on in hearts we'll stop we'll duck again we'll win the third heart and then we'll play the diamonds in such a way to prevent 
the and the, there's only one way to play the diamonds but we'll when we play that it will effectively not allow west to gain the lead if they have the king so the worst that will happen on here is that the finesse fails east gains the lead but if i click up if i bring up the four hands you'll see that because we ducked we um east is now out of heart so west is sitting there with the uh eight five but cannot get um he, he can't cash though so whatever they play now if they play a spade they'll um force out our race but the rest of our diamonds are now good so we'll play the ace there diamonds take our remaining diamonds then take our club starting by winning in the shorthand and that'll be our nine tricks I think at the end so this was a hand where where after the lead of a heart we ducked twice because we wanted we we had to play the diamond in such a way that east was in danger of getting in and we wanted to try to exhaust east of hearts okay if I change the hand very slightly so this hand is quite similar again they've led a heart but this time if you look at the diamond suit you can see I've I've swapped over the diamond so that the way I'm going to play the diamonds here is going to be leading diamonds from dummy finessing and hoping that east has the king of diamonds but if west has the king of diamonds they will get in but um the situation in hearts is slightly different so if I if they again play the queen now I've got a, a choice as to which heart to play um and if I I'll just bring up the four hands um and, and we'll have a look at that at the moment so you can see that in the diamond suit the diamond finesse is going to fail but if it if it loses it's west is going to gain the lead and if west gains the lead with the king of diamonds and attacks hearts now the situation is a little different because the the way to make this contract now is actually not to dark here but to play the ace and if i click on the gib button it will say that you can make an over trick if you play the ace here and what's different is that the person who could win the king of diamonds is west here not east so I make my contract here by going up with the ace because my jack of hearts is now protected if West gains the lead. So if I go over to dummy and lead the queen of diamonds and try that finesse, West can get in. But if they um, continue with hearts, I've got a second stopper with the with the jack here. So um, West actually on this hand may well decide not to play um a heart they might play a spade and now if you look at this from declarative point of view you, you should probably take your ace here because you're worried if east had the king and got in they could switch to a heart to to trap your your jack there so probably best to take your ace safest to take your ace there and now you can in a position to cash your remaining diamonds and you've got clubs to take at the end and after that uh we're probably going to lose that one there to the king they can take the last two hearts there uh, but we will make our our nine tricks um on that one so this particular holding where you've got um uh, holding it's exactly ace jack and another card you can play this different ways depending on on which opponent you want to keep off uh keep off lead and uh and so in this last example as I said when they play the heart the winning play there is to take the ace whereas in the previous example they look very similar but the winning play here is to duck to play low because on this on this layout you the only person who could get in with the king of diamonds is east whereas on the other layout 
swapping the diamonds over, it's West who might get in. So that's a, a sort of slightly tricky one to think about. But, you know, if you can think about um, who might get in in diamonds when you play the diamonds, that may lead you to the to the right solution of how to play this, uh, how to play this, whether to duck or whether to take your ace. Anyone have any comments or questions on that? Hello, can I ask one question? Go ahead. This all comes by experience or is there a method which you are applying to tell us? Uh, means it looks like you know everything. <laughs> so is it your knowledge or is it uh, there is a theory behind it? The, the, the theory is like on, on this example here, where they lead the heart and you, you've now won the queen, you have to realize you've got the king there and mm. you have to realize that that king is a stopper, but only if west leads hearts. If east leads hearts, then um, your king is not a stopper and, and would be could be trapped. So it's not knowing where the cards are. It's realizing that which opponent is dangerous, which opponent is more dangerous if they lead a heart in, in this situation. And it, it's mm. because you've got the the king and another card, that's a stopper, but only if west gets a lead, not if east gets a lead. So that makes east more dangerous here. Mm. So it's not that you know where all the cards are, it's, it's sort of working out who is more of a threat if they lead that suit. And rule of seven applies to both uh, dealer uh, uh, dealer and defense. Not really. The defense doesn't really use the rule of seven. No. It, okay. It's, it's only the who has got the contract. Yes, because it re depends on count on seeing two hands yeah. and counting how many cards you have in the suit. Okay. Lovely. Any other comments or questions on that?